Conservative leader Aaron O'Toole was not only ready for his campaign close-up, he built his own TV studio for it. Tell me why you guys built this studio and why you spend so much time here. And we had to be prepared for a pandemic election. The Conservatives are approaching campaigning a bit differently than the other parties. O'Toole spends two to three days in his studio each week, while the other main parties are holding more traditional campaigns on the road almost full time, but with COVID protocols in place and studios on backup in case the pandemic worsens. Hi, uh, Mr. O'Toole, my name is... The Conservatives say their virtual town halls are effective, with almost 200,000 people across the country taking part. Virtual assemblies gives you the opportunity to, to reach out to more people across the country, and not only to one specific region. But there are risks. The relatively new Conservative leader can come across as stiff in an empty studio. You can also appear as being far away. Uh, if you're in Ottawa and you're trying to speak to people in St. John or in Gander in Newfoundland, how can you get the reality on the ground? But in a crowd, O'Toole is more energetic. Wow, isn't it great to be together? This is the largest crowd I've had as leader. You may not get those spontaneous moments, but you have control of what's going on. Is Zane Velji is a campaign strategist. I think it's actually kind of brilliant. They can clip certain moments that, that he delivered well and fight the war where they really think it is, that this election is not going to be fought in the soup of the traditional mainstream zoomed out lens, but on digital, on social media. How do you think this could change future campaigns? I think uh, this type of campaigning is going to be uh, become the standard in Canadian politics for national campaigns. Merci beaucoup. Merci. Meaning we may see less of this from all parties next time around. Hannah Thibodeau, CBC News, Ottawa.